Hi guys, uh, Mr. Jenkins here again. Uh, this is uh, the second part of the notes for uh, 8.5. There'll be no new assignment with this. It's just the second, uh, it's just the last few, it's just for the last few questions of your uh, 8.5 problem set. The learning target for this is that I can simplify complex fractions. And um, so with that, we'll just go ahead and get into it. So we'll, first of all, what is a complex fraction? Well, there's a definition right here, but basically it's just a fraction over a fraction. Um, and so we just remember what's a, what's a fraction bar actually mean? Uh, it's, it means divide uh, division. So it's just nine over X, Y uh, divided by X over five. So you can think of this just as nine over X y uh, divided by x over 5. So same problem, just written in a different way. Uh, and uh, we had some of that on a recent lesson. So from here, we would just uh, same change flip, multiply by the reciprocal. So that'd be 9 over x, y times 5 over x. Uh, then we can look to cross cancel, but there are no common factors because all I have in the numerator are uh, constant values and all I have in the denominator are vari variable values. So all I can do at this point is just multiply straight across. Nine times five is 45. XY times X is X squared Y. All right, and then on MathXL, your directions just say uh, write in factored form. Uh, so they don't ask for the restrictions, but if they did on this one, we would just say uh, x can't be zero, y can't be zero. All right, so uh, moving on to the next one. Uh, before we uh, do same change flip, we want to go ahead and factor out everything that we can. Uh, well, you could factor really at any point, but uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and factor first. So up there I have a uh, difference of squares. So a plus b times a minus b tells me that factors to x plus 9 times x minus 9. over 3x, and that's all over x plus 9 over 8. All right, so now at this point, uh, we'll go ahead and write as a division problem. Actually, to save a little paper, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same change flip, just kind of do the two steps in one here. So instead of using divided by x plus nine over eight, I'm just gonna do times eight over x plus nine. Just don't have a whole lot of paper space. So before we multiply, we'll go ahead and do some cross canceling here. Those x plus nines uh, will cancel each other out. And so what I have left is 8 times the quantity x minus 9 over 3x times 1, or just 3x. Hello. Um, and so since MathXL wants the factored form, I think that you could just leave it like, uh, leave it like that. Do you want to say hi to everybody, Courtney? My daughter just wandered in, so she'll say hi. Say hi, guys. Hey, say do your homework. We you say do your homework? No, she just woke up. She's not going to play. Love you. Love you. Uh, if they don't... My toy. Okay, good idea. If they don't accept this answer, then you would just need to distribute the eight to get eight X minus 72 over three X. Uh, and then the restriction would just be uh, X can't be zero, but I think on math XL, you just have to go this far. So I'm gonna leave it there. 
Uh, the next problem, uh, so nothing to factor. Uh, I'll just actually skip that one and do D. So we'll go ahead and factor first. That's going to give me x plus 3 over x minus 3. Nothing to factor there. Uh, here's what we can factor, uh, x plus 3 times x minus 3. Uh, and then we can factor a 3 out of that. 3 times the quantity x minus 3. So at this point, we'll go ahead and do, uh, set it up as a multiplication problem. So we have x plus 3 over x minus 3 times. And then we're going to do the reciprocal of what's on the bottom there. Uh, so 3 times the quantity x minus 3 over x plus 3 times x minus 3. And we'll go ahead and do some cancellations. Daddy? Yes? So please show off the TV. I'll yes, I will. Mommy's bed. I'll put you a show on. And Mama's bed. Actually, give me just a minute. I'm almost done, OK? You want to just sit with me for just a minute? Can you do that? So that's going to give me 3 over x minus 3. And my only restriction would be that, uh, well, actually, I would have, uh, remember, everything under here would be a restriction. So x can be plus or minus 3. All right, so now moving on, I think the ones that you have on Math Excel are more like this guy, where you have to uh, actually add or subtract and then uh, worry about the division part. So just remember anything uh, that's you know contained over or under a fraction bar, there's an imaginary set of parentheses there. So we have to do this addition and this subtraction first. Uh, so it's almost like two problems in one. So adding this guy, um, so my uh, common denominator is going to be 5x. So on this side, I'm missing the x. So we're going to do 3 times x over 5x plus over here, I'm missing the 5. So 2 times 5 over 5x. Uh, so that's 3x plus 10. 3x plus 10 over 5x. Same deal on the bottom. So my denominator on the bottom is going to be 2x. On this side, I'm missing the x. So 1 times x over 2x minus, over here, I'm missing the 2. So 6 times 2 over 2x. So that would give me x minus 12 over 2x. OK, and then remember what we have at this point is this over this. So I'm going to go ahead and do my uh, same change flip. There's nothing to really factor uh, out. So we'll go ahead and go 3x plus 10. over 5x times, remember we're multiplying by the reciprocal, so 2x over x minus 12. You can go ahead and uh, cancel out these two x's, okay? Divide both of these by x and you get 5 and 2. And nothing else really factors out, so uh, we have 2 times the quantity 3x plus 10 over 5 times the quantity x minus 12. Like I said, I think MathXL will accept it this way. If not, they're looking for the answer 6x plus 20, where you distributed the 2, over 5x minus 60, where you distributed the uh, 5. All right, and they don't really care about restrictions here, so I'm not going to mention it.
Uh, I'm going to do one more problem on the back that's more like this, uh, just in case you'd like to see it. So uh, this is one uh, kind of directly from your homework. So uh, one, another one like we just did over x minus 5. This is just an extra example. So 1 over x minus 5 over 1 minus 1 over x minus 5. Now remember what I need to do first is kind of simplify that. So I'll just do that right here. My, uh, so one over one here. So my, my common denominator is just going to be X minus five. So really I'm just going to write X minus five over X minus five because that's equal to one minus one over X minus five. So x minus 5 minus 1 is just x minus 6. So we have x minus 6 over x minus 5. Sorry, I'm not sure why I did all the parentheses there. You don't really need them. Uh, and then, so now I have this over this. So 1 over x minus 5 times x minus 5 over x minus 6. These two cancel. And then I have 1 over x minus 6. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and stop with examples there. Um, besides that, uh, we'll have a Zoom meeting tomorrow, which will be Wednesday. Uh, so hop on there if you need any more help than, uh, than what I've given you. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.